And I believe in equal justice for all. And I am standing, and our office is standing for you and with you, women and all of the diverse communities of Houston. Without criminal justice reform, there can be no social justice reform. And so what has your district attorney's office done for you? We have passed through the legislature a law that protects victims from being thrown in jail simply because they don't uh, cooperate with us prosecutors. We can do better than that. I'm proud of the fact that the first, that the first uh, female chairperson of Metro is someone that I appointed and she's the first female chair of Metro. I'm proud of the fact I'm proud of the fact that the first African-American female to serve as chief of staff is appointed by me to be the chief of staff of the city of Houston. I'm proud of the fact that the head of the public works department, the largest department, public works department in the United States of America, for the first time in 181 years of this city, is now headed by a female, Kara Haddock. The point is, is that the glass ceilings that have existed in this country must be no more. Those glass ceilings will be to an end. And I hope in my own lifetime, I hope in my own lifetime, that I'm able to see the first female president of the United States of America. I hope that will come in my lifetime. I am an immigrant. I am a refugee. And guess what? It is personal for me. And when I see this mom right here talking about her son, her son's life matters to me. And I'm thankful that I work for a mayor who tells me, Chief, you keep us safe, you speak from the heart. I'm thankful that I'm a part of, of this profession right now in 2018. The law enforcement profession that is imperfect. We are imperfect as we are the human condition. I'm proud to be in Houston, Texas. I am proud to be in Houston, Texas, because Houston, Texas is the future, and the future is here today. It is now. We are, we are truly a landscape of what America is going to look like. You can't stop it. Hate can't stop it. Policy can't stop it. You cannot stop humanity from moving forward. And lastly, let's not forget we're in Texas. Let's not forget our history. It was Lyndon Baines Johnson in 1964 that passed the Civil Rights Bill in 1964 that made that man the ability to be mayor and me to be chief. And in 1965, it was a Texan in Lyndon Baines Johnson that passed the Voting Rights Act. So if you want to know what the future looks like, go back to the past. God bless you. And let's give our Houston police officers a big hand for being here today. God bless you all. My name is Sheila Blake. I'm with the uh, Houston Women's March Steering Committee, and we're the group that put on the Houston Women's March today. I think it's important because people need to be galvanized and reminded about our, how democracy works. Because what's been happening is not democratic. We've seen our country go backwards in terms of human rights. We're hearing awful comments about people of different races, and the white supremacists have been empowered. I mean, we thought they were gone. And of course, you know, women are being trashed in terrible ways that I didn't even think would pass in decent uh, conversations. And now the words that people are using are so surprising and upsetting. It just feels like our country just did a complete reversal and we have to start. Thank you. I think the tone today was not only hopeful and inspiring, but I think people felt empowered. Um, and I think people felt like they were resistant. They're saying, I've got a voice, I've got a platform, and I'm not sitting down and being quiet. My name is Carrie Stevens, and I'm here for my nieces. I have a lot of Republican family members, and I don't think that they understand the future of my nieces. Uh, I'm here with the Houston Socialist Movement, and we're here to oppose the agenda of the far right and the neoliberals who want to uh, basically attack the working class. It's not always about going to the ballot box once every few years and voting. It's about what you can do out in the streets and the working class communities to organize people to fight back on a daily basis against the onslaught that's happening in our country.
my name's Nick, and uh, I play with the band uh, Free Radicals, and we have like a stage band. And we also have a marching band that plays protests as well as weddings and funerals and <laughs> other stuff. It's kind of cool to see a bunch of Muslims standing with a bunch of LGBT people standing with whatever. So that's you know the closest there is to a, a silver lining for having um, a uh, racist president in office. My name is Araceli Camacho and I joined the community for the Houston Women's March because I couldn't just stay at home and be quiet. I think this is the time to unite and invite people to pull together to the same direction and try to make a change of this insane political situation. And we gather together because we think that the only way that we can change this is by casting our votes. So I am here to reach people from all ethnicities, from all economical backgrounds to come and unite. I believe in the movement, I believe that we are doing the right thing, but we need to be heard.